everybody. It's Molly with Out of the Barn Crochet Creations. This week was really busy for me personally. Um, and I didn't get a ton of crochet done, but I did get some scrunchies done. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. Um, I wanted to know how many scrunchies um, I could get in. I could get out of this skein. So, I did. Um, this is all I have left of the last game. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can make most of a scrunchie out of it. Um, but I have a lot of scrunchies over here. But before I tell you how much, how many scrunchies I got out of that, the skein of Burnett Crushed Velvet, I want to show you the rest of the scrunchies that I made this week. <laughs> I was like, where did they go? So, I made a bunch of scrunchies this week. And um, some of the tails aren't sewn in yet. But they're, um, they're basically done. So we have red. This is a Juicy Couture, the red um, color. We have the uh, pink, uh, the sparkles, Juicy Couture. Most of these are Juicy Couture. Um, this would be Crushed Velvet Burnett in Burgundy. There's five of these, I think. Yeah, five of these. They still need their tails sewn on, sewn in. Um, looks like I have three reds, no, four reds from the Couture, Juicy Couture. And then, let's see, what else? We have, I believe this is Electric Violet. I believe this is what that's called. Yeah. And then, well, I have another uh, Burgundy. So, what, I said five? I think that's six. And that, I did not use all the skein of this, because this is the same skein size as the blue that I'm talking about. So... I've got some blues, some really beautiful blues in here. This is what I've done this week. Um, I am working on a custom order, a rabbit, um, a couple of rabbits, but it's a little, it's becoming more challenging than I thought it was. So we're uh, taking that as step by step. Got some of this, which is not Juicy Couture. It's mint, classic, classic mint. Vintage mint, maybe? It's really pretty. It's light. And then I have one purple, because I wanted to get them on my Etsy shop. Um, you can find any of these on my Etsy shop if you were interested. Um, as a crocheter, I know most of us can crochet these. But um, if you don't crochet, or you just want to support my channel, uh, these will be available on my Etsy shop. And I can make more. I just don't have them all worked up right yet. So these are the colors that I've got going, and I'm going to toss these back in here. I know these are burgundy. Um, there was a couple other colors of, there was a couple other colors of bur burnet crushed velvet, but I have, uh, have them ordered. Okay, so this is going to be a quick video, not a big deal. Um, but we have, out of this color, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So this is just this gorgeous color blues. I like blues. Blues are my thing. So this is definitely a favorite of mine. This is called Blue Brilliance by Burnett uh, Crush Velvet. And I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't get another one out of, out of this. Probably not a whole one. We'll see. Probably not. And then I will let you know how that went. But at the end of this week, we have all of these scrunchies. 
and I'm quite pleased with myself. I've been using, um, I have a dark blue as well, but I've been using the dark blues. And I've got a couple, I've got a couple other colors that I haven't used yet. But for the most part, like, like I haven't used this color in uh, Juicy Couture. It's called Plunk, I think. Yeah, Plunk. And I haven't used, um, yeah, here's the, that might be it for now but um i have these on my etsy shop if you're interested you can find them there the, the link will be in the description below and um yeah i will get back to you with the final count on how many i can get in a skein or out of a skein hey everybody so we're back and that skein almost made 12 scrunchies it made like 11 and three quarters so i'm gonna go ahead and finish this scrunchie with the second skein i have in my stash over here and so i'm pretty happy with 11 and a three quarter scrunchies um for one of those skeins i think it's about a 12 dollar skein so it's a little bit over a dollar worth of yarn um per scrunchie which is perfect. It's fine by me. So I really love this collar. It's called Blue Brilliance. And it's a um, crushed velvet burnet. I love it. Um, anyway, so 11 and 3 quarters. Cool. Hey, everybody. It's Molly with Out of the Farm Crochet Creations. I wanted to talk to you about what we're going to do with this business. Um, my kids and I are going to go ahead and add stitch markers to our like business model. Um, it's a little bit faster of something we can put on our Etsy shop and the kids can help. Even my seven year old can help. And, um, yeah, we can have a lot of cute things and we can share with the community. There's a few on my Etsy shop already, and I'm going to show you just a few of them. Okay. So we have some dogs. I'm selling them in sets of threes or um, sometimes fives, depending on what it is and how well it goes together. Um, and this is one of my favorites, by the way. This itty bitty little turtle. Oh, there it is. It's got a little eyes on him. He's cute. Um, got some mushrooms. Um, got a snouger. I thought this was really cute. Um, growing up. I had a family member that really loved snowgers. So, um, got some cats. So, I don't have a ton up online just yet, but I've got a lot more in the works. So, that's exciting. Kitty. And then these I thought were really cool. They have a jingly tail. I thought they were extra cute. So that's some of the things we have uh, for our business. And the kids are excited. The kids are begging me to make them all the time. And um, they're getting a little bit of a kickback from making them. So they are bugging me constantly to make them. So we will have more on our Etsy shop. And then I ordered, I'm trying to support local, or not local, um, small businesses like mine. And the way I do that is buying things that they sell. And in this case, I supported uh, Melly Inspired Crochet. She's on YouTube, and she makes 
sewing sticks. You go ahead and you, if you have something that needs, that has extra pieces, so if I were going to stick the ears on this rabbit, or maybe a head on a different toy, a crochet item, you would put the, you place it and then you'd stick it through and you'd uh, be able to sew the item on or the piece on without it moving around. Um, this is a solution to a problem I've been having for a long time. I've been using um, little pens that you get with sewing and these are even the longer ones and there's still a chance that you can like lose it in the stitch and not realize it because um, I don't like count how many I have in the toy or in the crochet toy at, at one time so you know just one wrong move and it's a whole different problem especially when a kid snuggles it so um, this is a solution to a problem I didn't have a solution for before so I got a cute little goat and a cute little alpaca or llama and then some supportive some cute uh, matching pieces with it. the ribbon. And they're silicone and they're on knitting needles so it's really cool and I'm really uh, she sent them really quickly and yeah I've been using them ever since so thank you Millie and I will put her YouTube channel link down below so that you can um, watch her too if you haven't. She's a way bigger channel than I do. <laughs> so, um, yeah, there's that. And honestly, I don't have a ton else to share with you this week. I definitely want to get that um, this up so you can see it. And I will try to have more um, stimulating content later. So I will be updating you guys with some of the new stitch markers that we make from time to time. And they will all be on my Etsy shop until I kick Etsy to the curb and go rogue. But I'm not ready for that um, just yet. So I will talk to you guys later. If you were able to watch this to the end, I really appreciate it. If you want to see more of my content, go ahead and like and subscribe below. Again, thank you for being here. I'm glad you're here. I'll see you later. Bye.